Hey guys, welcome back to Night for Chess. Guys, you must have heard about Paul Morphy. He was an excellent player in the Master of the Open Games. Today, I'm going to show you one of his excellent games where he sacrificed almost all the materials, including Queen, and then checkmated his opponent in a fantastic way. He was white. He started with e4. His opponent replied e5, knight f3, and now d6. So this is Philidor defense, and Morphy played d4, the open game. And here, the best chance would be pawn takes pawn, but his opponent replied bishop to g4, which is considered to be inaccuracy these days, obviously. But at that time, this move was very popular. Paul Morphy showed a fantastic way to win uh, this game, I mean, to convert this advantage a small inaccuracy. Here white played pawn takes pawn and now obviously black is pretty much forced to capture the knight here because if pawn takes pawn you see queen takes queen, king takes and then knight takes pawn wins a pawn for white. So after pawn takes knight Paul Murphy played queen takes bishop. Here obviously after bishop takes knight pawn takes uh, f3 is also um, good for white. Queen takes bishop and now pawn takes pawn. After uh, now, here Paul Morphy played bishop to c4, attacking the f7, threatening mate. Black played knight f6, blocking the way. And now queen to b3 is a fantastic move, which creates the double attack on b7 and also on f7. And obviously, the threat is bishop f7 and king goes e7 or d7 anywhere then after queen to e6, it will be checkmate. So white is threatening checkmate and also the b7. So black replied queen to e7. Obviously, if black uh, plays queen to d7 here, then after queen takes b7, you cannot um, uh, save the rook because after queen c6, bishop b5 pins the queen, a small tactic. So after queen to e7, black's plan is that if white goes for b7, then queen b4 check, uh, exchanges the queen up, and obviously will save the rook. So here white played knight to c3. Then black played c6, defending the b7 pawn. And now white played bishop to g5, pinning the knight on f6. And now black played b5. And here, white sacrificed the knight. White started the sequence of sacrifices here. Knight takes b5, a fantastic move. And the sequence of uh, moves after this sacrifice is a fantastic. After pawn takes knight, bishop takes b5 is check. Now, knight to d7. Now, obviously, if king to d8, then White can castling queen side with check, including the rook into attack. So after knight d7, here white played long castle, the queen side castle. And uh, obviously there is a threat on d7 as this knight is um, pinned to the queen. So obviously it's it's it can only move at the cost of queen. So here black played rook to d8. And here another sacrifice by white Rook takes d7. After rook d7, now white included one more attacker into attack, rook d1, um, making advantage of the rook, which was pinned to the king. And here, black played queen a6, trying to exchange the queen and also trying to unpin this knight so that it can support. And now white played bishop takes rook, and knight takes bishop, and here white has a petite combination. You can pause the video and find it. So guys, white played the queen b8, fantastic move, sacrificing all the pieces, just two pieces remaining on the board. And after knight takes queen, rook to d8 is checkmate. So here the queen sacrifice followed by mate is a fantastic way. and you know, one can learn simple concepts of chess 
one can play uh, on the basic principles, follow basic principles, and uh, you know one can learn um, how to play uh, chess in a in a very simple way. So, guys, uh, if you like the content, share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel for more useful videos. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.